guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I thought I would go through all the supplements that I personally take, why I take them, what supplements I consider to be a waste of money or a waste of time and this is a complete honest review. Um, I am sponsored by Women's Best but with that being said this video is not to do with the brand Women's Best. It's got to do with what supplements I take, why I take them, what supplements I think are a waste of time, what you should buy on a budget. Okay, to start with, there are three supplements that I take on a regular basis. These are whey protein, BCAAs, and L-glutamine. And I'll go through all three in a minute. Now, I take three fundamental supplements to supplement my diet. Note how I said to supplement my diet. That doesn't mean that you have to have these products in, and supplements into your diet. It means that they're just going to help and supplement the diet that you already have. You will see no results if you don't have a consistent diet, a nutritional diet, and a good workout regime. So no products that you will buy will help you achieve the goals that you want to achieve if you don't have those three things that I listed. Now, what I want you to note as well, I don't take fat burners, I don't believe in fasted cardio, I don't believe in working out on an empty stomach. The reason being is because I genuinely consider our bodies similar to cars. Now, a car is not going to function properly on an empty stomach, correct? It works fantastic for some people, but for me and my clients, I don't allow it. So I will never allow my client to work out on an empty stomach because God forbid they ever fainted or got lightheaded or felt sick, that's not good. So I always fuel my body and have a pre-workout snack or have breakfast before I go to the gym. You, that doesn't mean you have to train right away, but at least 30 minutes before you train, make sure you have something to eat. Now, I don't take fat burners. I never have and I never will. I don't like the idea of something, a pill, being called a fat burner. There are a hundred healthier ways to burn fat and a pill is not one that I want to take. Okay, people take it, if you're on a healthy consistent diet, they take it to help them burn more fat and, you know, sweat more, get their heart rate up. But personally for me, I really like to stay away as if you find any product, any brand, that tell you that this tea, this supplement, this pill is going to make you lose weight within seven days and that you're going to drop the pounds like that, that is a marketing tool to make you buy the product. You are not going to lose weight in seven days by simply drinking some sort of tea or taking a sort of magic pill. And if you do, you'll probably pile it back on as soon as you get back to your ordinary lifestyle. Health and fitness is a lifestyle. It is not a short-term thing. It is not a short-term goal. You need to dedicate yourself to losing weight, to getting lean, or you don't even, if those are your goals, if those are not your goals, then you simply need to make sure that you're staying consistent and you're staying healthy. The first product we're going to go into is protein. There is such a misconception when it comes to protein that as soon as you take protein you're going to bulk or you're going to just become really big and muscly. If that was the case, trust me, I would have built the most amazing glutes by now. It's going to help you build lean muscle and it's going to obviously, when you take any sort of supplement, it's going to supplement your diet. Now there are hundreds and hundreds of different brands and types of proteins that you can go for. I personally take whey protein but like I said and I have behind me here you can take vegan protein which I'll go into in a minute. Within protein you have different formulas and the price range will change depending on the formula. The first protein we're going to go into is whey protein concentrate. Now what I want you to know about this product is that it's not a bad product, but it's not the best product. Whey protein concentrated has about 70 to 75% protein inside it, and the rest are carbs and fats. 
Now, whenever you want to buy any form of supplementary protein, you want to ensure that it has a high amount of protein. Now, whey protein concentrated is filtered in a way where not all of the protein is kept into the product. So, like I said, it has traces of fat and carbs. Now, also, what that means is the product is much, much cheaper than 100% protein. And that's okay because even 70% of protein is great. And if you, if you are on a budget, then definitely go for it. But if you do have more of a budget to spend, then I wouldn't re recommend a whey protein concentrate. The second product I'm going to go into is whey protein isolate. And that's what I have on a regular daily basis. And I have this, um, I would say, maximum three times a day. None of them are real meal replacements. And... Um, minimum twice, maybe once, if I'm really like off track with my diet. Now, ISO Whey has longer filtration, and what that means is when it's in the lab and when it's being made, it takes much longer to make the product. It does have a much higher percentage of protein than the concentrated protein, and the concentrated has 70 to 75 percent. The ISO Whey has about 95 to 97. I believe this one here has 97% protein, which is like phenomenal because to have 97% protein going into your system is what you are looking for. So that means there's only 3% traces of carbohydrates, fats, or maybe sugar to use as the sweet in the product because you obviously need taste to make the product taste good. Now, if I was you, I would seriously, seriously invest money and wait to buy a product like an ISO Way instead of a concentrate. I know not everyone has the same budget and I know not everyone has the same amount of money, but if you can, I seriously recommend just holding off and not buying any protein you find in the shop and to really do your research, step back, read into concentrated, read into isolated and see what works best for you. I personally want the highest amount of protein because I don't see any other point as to why you shouldn't have the, the highest amount of protein. So that's why I go for IsoWay. Now, the reason I drink protein is, one, to help me repair and recover my muscles. You need to remember that when you're in the gym, your body is in so much stress and pressure. Even if you're not weight training, which I do, even if you're not weight training, if your body weight, even if you're doing cardio, you're putting your body in a lot of stress and pressure. That's not bad stress and pressure, but it could mean that you're tearing and wearing your muscles. So what, ne what needs to be done is you need to repair that. Now, I've seen so many people eat meals straight after the gym, and that is fantastic because nothing beats a good source of protein. And when I mean a good source of protein, I mean food. This is great and convenient, but nothing beats food. I personally really don't want a meal straight after I finish my, my workout. And they do say, and it's recommended to have your protein 15 minutes to 30 minutes after your workout for maximum results. I personally like the conveniency of a shake straight after my workout. So what I do is I have a shake and I put into my shake two scoops of ISO whey and one scoop of L-glutamine which I'll go on to next. What I want you to remember also is that that shake that I have in oven after my workout is not my meal. That is a shake because as soon as I finish my workout I'll have my shake and then an hour to an hour and a half later I will have my proper meal. So that's what I want you to remember. I also have um, protein for breakfast and I have it in two different ways into my porridge and I make a really nice creamy pro protein porridge or I will make a breakfast smoothie and I will whack in a load of oats, a load of fruit and vegetables and if you've noticed here I haven't used a shake to replace my meal I've literally just supplemented my meals now whenever someone says that they use protein shakes to remove a meal I personally don't agree with that because you need your micro and macronutrients and all those vitamins and minerals they're not going to come through your shakes they're going to come from fresh veg fresh fruit and that's what I recommend you having but if you do have a shake for breakfast 
then sure you can have it with a smoothie so like I said have some oats some berries some spinach a banana some almond milk any plant-based milk that you fancy and you have everything your micronutrients your macronutrients your vitamins and your minerals you can also get vegan protein and I think it's so good that the health market have introduced more vegan supplements such as um, vegan protein, pre-protein, rice protein, hemp, you have the whole lot and I think it's important to provide people with variations because not everyone is the same and you can even be a meat eater but you can be lactose intolerant or you can be intolerant to whey and that's exactly what my friend is, I have a friend called Laura, hey Laura and she is lactose intolerant and she can't have whey at all, it messes up with her body and um, she sticks to I actually do give her the vegan protein for women's best and um, you know this this specific one has 21 grams of protein 1.4 grams of carbs and 1.2 grams of fat which is really really good and it's a blend of pea protein isolate remember isolate is the best way to go with protein you have rice protein concentrated uh, hemp protein and then you have even sea salt and stevia and stevia I think I'm pronounced it right is actually a relaxing agent which helps to balance out your hormones as well so I do think it's so good that there are, there are options for different people and um, it makes it easier for people for vegans to uh, vegans and vegetarians to get their protein in. L-glutamine, the most common amino acid found in our bodies, to be exact, 60%. I really don't feel like women have this enough in their diet, and I really do feel like they should. Studies have shown that L-glutamine can minimize the breakdown of muscles, which is exactly what you want. Muscle and look really toned and nice. And the way you do that is by building muscle. That doesn't mean, like I said, bulking, unless that's what you want to do, but L-glutamine will help minimize the breakdown of muscles which is exactly what you want. You don't want to go to the gym and you want to lift as heavy as you can. You want to work really hard just for that muscle to tear down. So L-glutamine will really help with that. Gluten helps with hydration, healing process of muscles and cell volume. There's another thing that L-glutamine really does that's going to impact your body a lot and in a good way and that is it helps with protein synthesis. And what that means is the breakdown and the buildup of protein and the protein cells in your body. Now, I don't want you just to think of protein muscles. Protein is in your hair, in your nails, in your skin. So the, the higher amount and the better protein you have in your system, the more likely like your skin and your hair will be repair and grow rapidly and better. The next product I'm going to go into, and this is the third and final supplement that I take on a regular basis, is BCAAs, which, which stand for branch chain amino acids. Now, branch chain amino acids, similar to L-glutamine, will help with protein synth synthesis and will help your muscles grow over time. Note how I said over time. All these supplements need to be taken on a regular basis in order for you to see results. That does not mean it's going to happen overnight. That does not mean it's going to take seven days to work. It means you need to stay consistent and you need to stay on point with taking supplements in order for them to work. Just like anything, you're not going to, if you take a multivitamin, you're not going to see it work instantly. You need to take it over time in order for it to work. BCAAs also help with your immune system, which is exactly what you want. Anyone who goes to the gym is actually more prone to getting ill than someone who doesn't. And the reason being is because your body, like I said, is in such a large amount of pressure, especially if you're weight training. So you need to have a really strong immune system. And of course you're going to get that through your vitamins and your minerals. And of course you're going to get that through taking supplements such as vitamin C. Much chain amino acids will also help with your immune system. Now the question is, are BCAAs worth it? Now if I'm being completely and truly honest with you, if you are on a budget, I would seriously scrap this and this. And this is L-glutamine and BCAAs. I, 
if you're literally on a budget where you cannot afford all these supplements, don't buy these. The reason I say that is because I want you to invest in protein and I want you to invest in a good protein. Protein also will have traces of L-glutamine, it will also have traces of BCAAs. So that's why I'm saying, if this also, if this already has traces, then if you're really on a budget, then skip on this. But with that being said, remember I have to be fair and I have to be honest, with that being said, you want a product that comes in its purest filterized form. So what I mean by that is, BCAAs is BCAAs, like that's pure, that's in its right form. If it has, tr if you have traces of BCAAs in your way, you're not going to get the full impact. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's really truly down to you. But if you are not on a budget, then I seriously recommend investing in the three products that I just went on about. Now there's other products that I sometimes take but I don't take on a regular basis and that is creatine now creatine I really won't recommend creatine if you are leaning out shredding out or you want to lose weight how can I put this it swells your muscles so you do look a bit more swell and pumped and you know yeah, biggish so I only use creatine when I'm bulking, I don't use creatine when I'm cutting down. And the way I use always powder formula if I can, I don't take capsules just because I, I don't really like capsules to be honest, but I try and take powder. And if I was to take creatine if I'm bulking, I would mix creatine with my L-glutamine and two scoops of whey. And I will have that straight after my workout. And some people even have it before. For example, my partner has it before and after. Because men always want to bulk up, right? Another supplement that you can take is a pre-workout. Now, if I'm completely honest, I take pre-workout on days that I'm feeling so drained mentally, physically, where I need that extra boost. I am not reliant on pre-workout and I strongly suggest you uh, you do not become reliant on pre-workout. The reason I say that is because it's not a must-have, it's a can-have. And there are alternatives that can help you boost your energy before the gym. And sometimes I even have a shot of coffee with a tiny little bit of sugar. I'll have a pre-workout meal that will help me, you know, to help me build up my energy but like I said pre-workout is used when I'm feeling really run down drained but I need to get a workout in and this flavor tropical punch is the best flavor ever now um, in terms of how I use it I use two scoops and literally the smallest dash of water you want to make it as if it's a shot some people just put it in their mouth and then juggle a bit of water I've done that before and it came shooting out of my nose so I would not recommend that but two scoops in a glass with a little bit of water mix it and shot it back um, take it about 30 minutes to even an hour before your workout the side effects are you will get super itchy some people that doesn't happen to you but for me I get a ridiculously itchy face so I'm like itching away but it does make you like super energized to get your workout done we've just gone through all the supplements that I take why I take them and how I take them now I also wanted to go through the vitamins or the extras that I take on a regular basis to help me with other things now if you've known me for a while and you follow me on Instagram you will know that I do suffer from quite inflamed acne at times it's not all the time but it's most of the time. Now you won't be able to see as much here because I have a ring light and I've got a ton of makeup on. But I do, I do get them right across here. And doctors have said that the reason why you will get um, flaring and acne across your jawline here and your neck is hormones. So whenever you're getting any sort of acne, any sort of really excessive oily skin, it's because your hormones are in balance and unfortunately for us women it can get even worse if you're on contraception and if you're on anything like that I am on contraception and 
um, it, when I first got contraception it did make my skin really 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 bad like to the point where I had literally acne all up my forehead all on my face all on my chest and back which I've never had spots on my chest before on my back before so it was such a shock to the system but like I said but like I always say if you're putting something into your body you never know how it's going to react but after two months of having the contraception I have sorry I have the implant in my arm after two months of having the contraception in my skin did get really good and it balanced out However, now what I tend to have is major outbreaks around my jawline. I never get spots on my forehead. I never get spots on my nose or my chin. It literally is just, I'm going to move in closer because I do want you to see it. Like there. That's what I'll get. And I'll get that especially when I'm coming on my period or I'm just about to finish my period. Um, and so I've... The, in the pills that I take, they are natural, healthy, organic pills. So yeah, so I obviously went to the health shop and I did my research to see what could help control it, to see what could help manage my skin because I know makeup doesn't help and all these things but it is also internal. So the first product that I chose was Maca and I take one capsule a day and I just got these off I just got these in Holland and Barrett's but I'm pretty sure any health shop in the world will have maca if not you can order them on Amazon um, I believe I'm assuming now maca is a hormone balancing product and it helps balance the estrogen in your body and that's exactly what you want because you're, for women, we our hormones can be literally all over the place. You can go from zero to 100 like it's nothing. So you need something to balance out your hormones. And this is such a natural product. And you can have maca even as a powder form where you can put in your smoothies. So that's what I would recommend. It's, an help, it's helping me balance out my hormones and it's helping me relax my hormones as well. So this is what I take. And... I've been taking this for two weeks and I'm not going to lie, my skin has calmed down, but has it completely transformed my life? No, it has not. But I like, I'm going to keep taking it because, you know, it's only two weeks. I'm going to give it a little bit longer. I take is zinc. And we have zinc in our bodies anyway. And when you lack zinc, especially if you're pregnant, you tend to need more zinc because your body is under pressure and because you're obviously developing a new human being into your body so you need zinc in order to help your immune system it helps your skin and it helps your hair the next product is evening primrose oil now I take these in a capsule like this and you can take a maximum of three a day I take two together and primrose will seriously and I mean honest to God like I would not bullshit about this it is gonna help your period pains and I can assure you that now I used to have period pains but I would literally wake up at night and I would need to throw up that's how severe they were and they were so incredibly painful to the point where I would have to even sleep I am not exaggerating I would have to sleep with my back down and my legs lifted up in the air because I, the blood flow would just completely just be messed up and um, my mum had the same she used to have incredibly bad cramps when she was younger and so when I went to the doctor about it and I said like look I want something that's going to help me because I can't deal with this I can't deal with having literally three, two to three days off in a month just in bed in agony and it might be extreme me saying that but I can assure you that my pain threshold is massive and whenever I used to come on my period I used to have no ounce of energy I couldn't even eat because everything made me feel sick so what he advised is even primrose and I've been taking the evening primrose for literally a good year now and it has so helped it, I am convinced it has helped 
I don't get the cramps I used to get. Of course I get cramps. Of course I get pain. Like every woman does. I'm sure of it. And it just helps so, 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 so much. It's so like soothing. It's a soothing agent. And it's a balance and hormonal agent. Similar to Maca. So if you're combining also these two together. Your horm hormones are going to balance out. And you're not going to get those severe cramps and pains that you were getting before. That doesn't mean you're not going to get them at all. But it means it's going to help. So if there's anything in this video that I can recommend you purchase it is seriously if you have bad PMS even primrose oil you will thank me later and keep consistent with it have it by your table um, and bedside table and just make sure you're having it every night two a night that's what I do you can take three but two will be fine so that's it from me I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was somewhat helpful Make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you follow me on Instagram where I give lots of fitness videos and methods and tips. So anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you, but remember, I love you always and forever.